Hey there, I'm John. I'm Chris. And we are the Fidgets. fidgets. Actually, we're not all the Fidgets. Two thirds. We're two thirds. We're the, the better two thirds of the Fidgets, we're I'd the like fidge. to say. Yeah, just. Fidgies. Dave is in Florida relaxing in the sun, so. It's working. <laughs> that's right. He gets no uh, sympathy or compassion from us. The reason that we are shooting this video, though, is just to give a quick shout out to Cambridge Christian School. We are pumped. Uh, February 23rd is going to be an awesome Amazing. show. Mousetrap mm -hmm. show, fundraiser. We want to raise like thousands of dollars for you guys. And we're actually pumped about coming back to Cambridge because we got friends in Cambridge. It's true. Well, I, I don't have a lot of friends. John has friends in Cambridge. You know people, though. You I have, do know people. You have acquaintances and I peers. Do. I actually have... Um, a few people, um, but in all fairness, they're not from Cambridge. Oh, really? No, they're actually from other places. I'll get to that later, though. Okay. You'll see. All right. Uh, I want to see my good friend, Scotty Bita. Scotty, Scotty Bita. Scott. I remember Scott. He, he was a professional basketball player. That's right. And he actually, until the surgery, he had six fingers on each hand. Could wow. Could handle the ball. Plus thumbs or just... No. Just like... Oh, like no like thumbs. Here you have just... four. Mm -hmm. He had one there and oh, one there. Wow. Yeah, really good basketball player. Weird. That's weird. Um, actually, I have a friend named Tim Gibb. He, he never got into basketball, but he was always, always a big sports guy. He okay. used to do sports newscasting. And the funny thing is, he couldn't... For whatever reason, he couldn't speak in a normal North American Canadian accent. He always had to have some different accent every single time he went on. Like a totally different like accent every, each time? No, no, not just every time. Every time the song finished and the next song would come on, different accent. Wow. Every single time. Yeah, people didn't know if it was just a huge cast of people, but he actually ended up fooling the company and he got about eight different paychecks out of it. <laughs> That's amazing. They didn't know. They can't see who's there, right? Holy smoke. So yeah. Tim Gibb, financially wealthy. Guru. I, I love that. You know who else is uh, is a guru? Fran Huberts. Fran Huberts. But she's not a, a, a guru in the area of money. She's a guru in the area of embroidery. Really? Yep. So what she does is, um, you know how if you get a cut, they stitch it up? Yeah. What she does is she's in the hospital, and she, instead of stitching, yeah. she embroiders. She bedazzles. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But she'll, she'll like monogram your name. Into your wound. That's amazing. Yeah, like like a letterman's jacket for people that really want to shine. That's exactly it. That's that's amazing. I actually uh, I don't know anything about bedazzling or rhinestones or any of that, but my my friend used to be uh, a seamstress, and she was so good. Her name was Annette Ragnarus, and she had this amazing company hey. that made custom suits, but. They would only use materials that were recycled. And I don't mean fabrics. I mean plastic bottles, bags, all kinds of stuff like that. It was really good, except when you went outside and it was really hot, that it kind of melted a little. And probably smelled and a bit. And she was like, it's a custom fit. And I was like, eh, is it though? <laughs> That's amazing. No Speaking of recycling, mm -hmm. my buddy Jarrett Van Andel, mm -hmm. okay? Most people recycle paper, plastics. He recycled trees he recycled trees he'd go into the forest and say hey there's a tree yeah and then he'd pull it out yeah and he'd plant it somewhere else it's amazing and he'd get paid by the government really thousands of dollars sounds right it's tree tree wow. cycling wow there's recycling he was a tree cycler that's that's incredible yeah actually um beth beanin wasn't uh wasn't a, a tree cycler or a recycler but she did live in the forest really yeah, she still does she's a forest person she actually is she's um I don't know if you know this or not, but... She's a hobbit? She's actually a squirrel. <laughs> like an actual squirrel. You can't tell. I know. it's. She looks like a totally normal person. Yep. Smartest squirrel I've ever met. Really? Yeah. She can speak and dance and sing. Oh, her singing voice is great. It's That's like, amazing. <laughs> it's great. She's so good. That's Beth. Good. That's Beth. That's Beth for you. Mm -hmm. All right, Cambridge, we're looking forward to seeing you, especially Beth Beenan. We're going <laughs> to we're going to have a great show. Buy your tickets right away. See ya. Bye.